It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Lee Cowan. As it has many times over the decades, New York City is throwing a big party next weekend. Central Park is the place. The man behind it is music mogul Clive Davis. For him, it's a labor of love, as he told our Califasene. The entire orchestra of the New York Philharmonic will begin the concert. From his art-filled estate in an exclusive New York suburb, legendary music producer Clive Davis, at 89, is hard at work. LL Cool J with Reverend Run. I think that would be very exciting if they do It's Tricky. Is that what they're doing? That's right, they're doing It's Tricky. When Mayor Bill de Blasio's office decided to put on a star-studded concert to celebrate New York City's return after pandemic lockdown, Clive Davis got the call. you got to live up to what the mayor has been heralding as one of the great old-time concerts. Concrete jungle where dreams are made. During his 50 years in the music industry, Davis has helped launch the careers of Paul Simon, Janis Joplin, Bruce Springsteen, and Whitney Houston. To me, it feels like New York is Gotham, and when they need something done, they throw up the bat signal, and that's your cue to spring into action. We've all been through you know, a terrible period during the pandemic. It's affected each of us individually. It's affected our city. So I've taken it very seriously. I will certainly not relax till the end. <laughs> when they asked you to put together this concert to celebrate the reopening of New York, did you say yes immediately? I said yes on the spot. <laughs> I'm born here, bred here. Davis was raised in Brooklyn, the son of a salesman. After his parents died of sudden illnesses a year apart, he graduated from New York University, thanks to a full scholarship. I'm indebted to the education and the life and the experiences that I've had in New York. And who was your first phone call after you agreed to do this? John Landau, the manager of Bruce Springsteen. In 1972, Davis signed Springsteen to his first record deal. But Davis wanted his entire company to understand just how special he thought Springsteen was. And she was blinded by the light, cut loose like a deuce. What a great phrase that is. This special signing, this unique talent, You've got to understand his lyrics. So I made a video. I sent it to everybody who worked for Columbia Records, and I recited the lyrics to every song in the album. Mama always told me not to look into the sights of the sun. Oh, but Mama, that's where the fun is. Bruce Springsteen. And to this day, Springsteen says he's grateful, as he told Davis during a recent Zoom call. Was you having the balls to get up in front of that camera and <laughs> recite the words to Blinded by the Light. It was fantastic, and I thank you for, the, for, uh, <laughs> for your dedication. You. These days, Springsteen is busy doing his one-man show on Broadway, but he signed on to the concert anyway. Take me He and Patti Smith, another Clive Davis protege, will perform her hit Because the Night, a song they wrote together. Another name on the lineup? Paul Simon, who knows what it's like to play for a big crowd in the middle of Central Park. When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy. He reunited with Art Garfunkel for a concert there 40 years ago. We were both really nervous. Uh, that was a that was a large a large group. But once you get out there, you're 
takes a little while and then you then you fall into the rhythm of it and you're, and you're okay. Uh, so it was a big emotional event and uh, a, a really nice night for Artie and for me. I definitely reached out to Paul. What was the response? There was no convincing. When you have a special connection with someone and your lives go differently or, or what, but that connection doesn't ever cease. And then all of a sudden, last year, the pandemic happens. What was that like for you, for someone who's used to having this kind of personal connection with so many people? The answer is that the personal connections continue uh, as life continues. They're extended family. Now, at a time of renewed concern about COVID, Davis says that part of concert planning is the mayor's job. They're assuring us the environment will be totally uh, safe and that proof of vaccination will have to be shown. Simon and Garfunkel had 500,000 in that space. We are not having 500,000. The maximum is 60,000. Clive Davis wanted to make sure the concert had a wide range of headliners. Yes, Springsteen and Simon, but also the Killers, the rising hip-hop star Polo G, and the Colombian pop sensation Maluma. Whether it's the Monterey Pop Festival, or working in Latin music, working with black artists, how were you so comfortable in all those different places? You had to be comfortable. They don't play your record because you discovered Joplin or Springsteen. You know, you got to prove it every time. Every time. I've always had to work hard. I believe in working hard. This is going to be a real unique segment. Clive Davis shares that work ethic with many of the artists who will be performing at Saturday's concert. You know, I've had a band since I was 14 and a half, and it was the only thing I was really deeply interested in. Uh, the joy is in the work, and uh, and I must say I do get a sense of pleasure out of the fact that a, millions of people really liked what I did and, and got something from it. Yeah, I do. I do really like that. Is there something special about a bunch of people coming together outside to listen to music? We're using music to not only change the mood but we're using music to symbolize rebirth, revival, recovery, and that is why it's so special.